That's, uh, I think, all I want to say. I just want to thank everyone for your participation. Um, we heard a tremendous amount of uh, feedback and comments here. My main takeaways were, one, thank you, Bohm, for the work you're doing, um, both substantively and process. Yeah, we get that this is, um, there's a balancing act here. There's users out there, other users, and those, their interests and issues have to be concerned. But please, do what you can to move faster. We need to somehow get to crisis mode. There is a lot at stake here. We need to think about climate change, how do we take in the larger impacts that are out there, um, how do we think as well about labor and training. I think we heard from Bohm um, some very clear responses around um, partnerships are key. Uh, they want a partnership with you, whether that's around education or outreach. Um, I think we also heard that they have statutory constraints, and so while they may share um, certain directions you want to go in, um, they also have rules that they live within, and as we all do. And so there are other partners out there, whether it's a state or other federal players that you may want to be talking to and sharing your interests with. So um, I just want to thank everyone for your comments and your focus, and then I want to invite uh, Abby or Jim to make any final remarks. First off, my name is Jim Bennett. I'm the program manager for renewables uh, offshore for the federal offshore program. And uh, it's very, it, it's really invigorating to hear everything that's been said tonight because we have challenges, uh, but we, we, we ha also have support, and it's great to see that in this room. So thank you, thank you very, very much for all of that. Uh, in 2009, we put a process together to pursue our, our primary objective, was, which was to provide access offshore in the federal offshore environment for wind farm development. And since that time, we have issued 11 commercial leases along the Atlantic. This is the prime area for wind development. Uh, from Cape Cod to Cape Hatteras, every state has at least one commercial lease that, that is being worked on for the development of a wind farm, except for one state. That's New York. And we're trying very hard to change that. We are planning on having a commercial, uh, aux commercial lease auction in December of this year so that New York, where we have the right wind, we have the technology, uh, and we have the market, can be the last piece in that area uh, that is prime for, for wind development in the, on the East Coast. So what we need to do that is your continued support. Uh, the support of Director Hopper, who's been uh, tireless in, in advocating for us and making sure that we keep moving forward and focusing on uh, the New York lease sale, uh, the support of the state of New York and uh, the New York Renewable Task Force, which has been uh, very valuable to us in getting us to the point where we can have a sale, and uh, the developers, the NGOs, and of course the public. So I ask you to continue to provide that support, to stay involved, and to get others involved so that we have the urgency that we've identified here tonight to keep this program on track and move forward, particularly here in New York. So, thanks. So again, thank you all. We have the room till 8 o'clock. Please feel free. We encourage you to visit with bomb staff at each of the three stations. Thank you all.